Anna and today we are going to bake a cake. This is the easiest cake and my favorite cake because you don't need to measure much and it's very flavorful. It's a lemon cardamom cake with almond flour. So we need a few basic ingredients, eggs, sugar, lemon zest, uh, cardamom pods, a little bit of ricotta, vanilla, baking powder, and almond flour, and a little bit of olive oil. That's it. So we're gonna just start with eggs. Just the way you bake the cake. So we have three large eggs here. And half a cup of sugar. I just don't like too sweet, so you can do more or less. And I happen to have brown sugar, so I think it's better to use just white sugar, confectioner sugar, but um, that's not gonna uh, make a big difference. So ricotta, one cup. If you don't have ricotta, you can always use um, Greek yogurt or sour cream. Quarter cup of olive oil. You can use uh, coconut oil too. Sometimes I use coconut oil and it's fantastic. A lemon zest. Wonderful lemons from San Diego. Still have a few left. It smells so good. So for the best flavor, you can use Meyer lemons. Meyer lemons have really nice uh, and better flavor than just regular lemons. I'm gonna use the whole lemon zest because I love strong lemon flavor in this cake. And the only thing that gives the uh, cake flavor is lemons and cardamom. All right, perfect. So with the cardamom, I like to buy the pods and then break it here myself. So we need to take the seeds out. We don't want that shell, so you just use your mortar and pasta or if you don't have it you can always break it with your hands and just take the seeds out you can also buy just the seeds without the pods but this i feel like this kind of um keeps the flavor of the cardamom seeds better and then i like to crush it so that it infuses flavor and smell. Oh, that smells so good. And then you can just take the um, shells out. Like that. So these are empty already, so we don't need that. So I had about 20, 25 cardamom pods. If you get just the seeds, I think I half a teaspoon should be enough. So that's how we do that. Add here. Okay, olive oil. We need a little bit of baking powder. I like to use baking powder instead of baking soda. And I want to use a little bit of vanilla. And I like to use good vanilla, like Madagascar vanilla. Really good one. Okay, give it a stir and then we're gonna add our almond flour. I have about two cups of almond flour and I usually kind of feel the consistency of the batter. Uh, so you just kind of try to incorporate almond flour into the wet mixture. So that looks perfect. And it's gluten free. Okay. I like to put the parchment paper underneath because then it's easy to just lift and scoop it out. It's a little bit, you cut a little more. Just fold it a couple of times and still big. All right, and then pour your batter in it. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
So I preheated my oven to 375. And I'm gonna put it there for 40 minutes. What up? Okay. All right, let's check the cake. That looks beautiful. And it's dry. So 40 minutes later, one minute left. And our beautiful lemon cardamom cake is ready. Okay, we can turn this off. And why I like to have that is that you can let it cool for a little, but you can just take it out and um, you know it's easy to let it cool on a cooling rack. So I'm gonna move it in the cooling rack here. Over here, over here. There you go. I'm gonna let this cool, but before I wanna drizzle just a little bit of honey. Oh, look at that. So when it's nice and warm, it absorbs the honey and it's really delicious. That was all for today. Um, I hope you like it. I hope that you'll bake this simple, easy, delicious um, cardamom lemon cake with almond flour. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.